It's good to be back. I'm Patrick Highsmith, CEO of Timberline Resources. We're here at the Eureka Project in Nevada. It's been 18 months, we've gotten a lot of work done, taken a lot of samples, drilled a lot of holes, and we found a lot of gold. So let us tell you about it. In the last couple of years, we, we've put about $12 million of new investment into Timberline Resources, and that's primarily aimed at exploring here at our Eureka project in Eureka, Nevada. We've drilled a lot of holes in that time, and we started with a gold resource at surface that was delineated some years ago, about 500,000 ounces of gold at an average grade of 0.62 grams per ton. It comes to surface. We see it as a foundational resource for the company, something to build on. But since then, we've been drilling. And we've been drilling a little deeper. We've been drilling outside of that resource area. And as a result, we've been hitting new intercepts of higher grade gold that appear to be the roots, sort of the down dip extension of that resource. And that's where our growth is coming from. The Eureka Project is a huge package of land, over 70 square kilometers. And while we occupy the Eureka Gold Belt there, within that, there are three trends that we're exploring. The lookout trend is where our resource is. It's where the new discovery at the water well zone is. The surface sampling at the Oswego showing was really exciting because over about 80 meters of sampling, none of that rock was waste. Windfall also hosts historic mines, three big open pit mines, and that trend continues for at least eight kilometers north to south with gold indicated in drill holes. We're no longer just hunting for low-grade leachable mineralization. By the example of the water well zone and Oswego, and even some samples up at Windfall, we know we have high-grade mineralization in this system. That's what we are focused on. It's fascinating that this trend continues to the north, well up to the north and over the mountain range you can see there. And as it continues over to our neighbors at I-80 Gold, we see the same rocks occupying this corridor and they're mineralized a few kilometers away at I-80 Gold's project as well. The potential between I-80's growth and Timberline's growth in this district is simply astounding. The most important thing in exploration is to get out there and put boot leather on the rock and take samples and drill, drill, drill. It was really amazing in Nevada in 2021 and 2022 to walk up on a prospect with 12 grams per ton, 20 grams per ton in surface sampling. Eureka's on fire, quite frankly, with gold exploration. And, and the reason is new discoveries and drilling meters. And this is what it takes to make gold discoveries. Eureka was born a silver camp, and we're taking it forward as a gold camp. The best rock that we've seen come out of the ground in drill holes, visually, I would say, has been at the north end of the water well zone where we intercepted in core uh, approximately 40 meters running over four grams per ton and it's full of this brilliant yellow uh, arsenic sulfide mineral called orpiment. We like to call it and teach our drillers to watch out for mustard in the rocks. Sometimes we see ketchup which is a red version slightly different mineral but also an arsenic sulfide and that's important because arsenic is very very commonly associated with gold in these carlin systems. I love my job. There's, there's not a, it's something new every day. I like to do it. It's 25 years of doing it now, and it's always a new day. The potential for discovery at the Eureka Project alone is probably upwards of 5 million ounces of gold today. It's not often that a junior company this size has 70 square kilometers of land on a major gold trend in a blossoming new gold belt like we do here at Eureka. Three different trends with gold drilled for kilometers along all of those. 
we're going to focus on delivering, just as we've done the last couple of years. We go out, we drill, we report those results, and we get back after it, always trying to put the puzzle together. There's a lot of potential to make this a multi-million ounce project for Timberline shareholders. The sky's the limit as we go forward at Timberline.